Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and enjoying your iPad Mini as am I. And if you have two-step verification set up with your Gmail slash Google account and you're trying to get your contacts and your calendar to sync with your iPad Mini and are frustrated because it's not working, well, the trick is that you're probably entering your password from your Gmail and Google account, but unfortunately, that won't work. What you need to do is you need to go into your two-step verification and set up a specific password for the iPad Mini for those contacts to and, and calendar to sync. So when you're going through the process and it asks for the password, you're going to enter this uh, password and I'll show you how to create one and then once you enter that, you're good to go. As far as Gmail syncing, uh, that seems to work uh, seamlessly once you're setting that up. But as far as contacts and calendar, it uh, needs, uh, for some reason, you have to enter the, the, the password from the two-step verification. So let me show you how to uh, set up a password specifically for, for this. And uh, this should hopefully uh, help you be able to sync your contacts and calendar. So here we go. Let me show you how to do that now. Okay. The next step, once you have set up your two-step verification process with your Gmail Google account, you come and click on this link that will take you to this page here. And you want to scroll to the bottom of the page, and as you can see here, you'll have this application-specific passwords. And you can read it. It says, you know, some of the applications that work outside a browser aren't yet compatible with two-step verification and cannot ask for verification codes, for example, older Android smartphones, Google Voice, mobile application on iPhone, uh, Chrome Sync, mail clients such as Microsoft Outlook, chat clients such as Google Talk, AIM, etc. So you can then watch the video on application specific passwords if you like and you simply all you need to do now is name it. So you can call it uh, iPad Mini let me actually fix that iPad Mini uh, you could call contacts calendar and then all you do is click generate password now this is the password that you want to use when you get to the point where it's asking for a password again you don't want to use the password that you log into your Gmail and Google account with then you'll see here iPad mini contacts calendar uh, it says unavailable now because uh, you haven't started using it once you do uh, it will show the last date used. If you decide you want to revoke it at some point, all you do is click re revoke, and now it's off the list. So that's all you need to do. Um, keep it simple, and uh, it should work. Uh, leave your comments, questions, uh, any other tips that you might uh, seem to have helped you as well. If this video is of help, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll subscribe back. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.